Hello there, I am Giant Girdle with more my Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we took on the Duford City Gym, Duford Town Gym. We took on the three trainers in the gym and then the Brawly. Uh, he was pretty tough actually, but the trainers really weren't that tough, honestly. I didn't have a problem like defeating them and stuff. Uh, I also said that I trained all my Pokemon up to level 18, so the so, uh, Metroid and Geico are both good level 19 in the last part. We also, uh, after that we finished up in, uh, Doofer Town to get the gym badge, knuckle badge. So we set off to the Slayport and we're on the beach now of Slayport. So let's continue on the beach. Doesn't beach, uh, doesn't a beach in real look like a giant flower? Kinda. From a bird's eye view, I guess, or maybe not. From a bird's eye view, you just see, like, the, the, um, circle part of it, you, like, the top of it, you won't actually see that. Like that, it had to pull or anything, too. Anyway, let's go for the vital thrill. This is Zeril's gonna just use tail whip, I guess. That's cool, I guess. There we go, there we go. Takes it out, though. Oh, it's, I think they have the cute charm ability, so it could. So, if I could uh, get attracted to them and probably possibly be immobilized by love, and that wouldn't be good. Let's see if we just take this thing out to dinner. Take it to uh, Texas Roadhouse or something, you know? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, they don't give up much experience, honestly, but that's okay. Tuba Wola uh, Tuba was defeated. Mommy, sorry. Thanks for 52 Poké Dollars. This guy says that his Zigzagoon, Zigzagoon picks a beach or trash off the beach. So yeah, the water around to these parts is clean, but I get my disc zoom to pick up water from the shoreline at times. Dirty water becomes rain and joins our rivers, which we drink from. If we put the sea, it all comes back to haunt us eventually, that's true. Like, what? Gug you or something that says that? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, just checking, just checking if there was any items that was picked up by any of my three zigzagoons. Over here, Sleepwood City. There's some good music, but I won't sh showcase it just yet. We want to take on the Seashore House. Yeah, okay. Seashore House, Mayhap, bottle, Bottles Rage on Hot Sands. The place for hot trainers. Cool. Yo, trainers, whether you're cool, sorry, I already messed it up. Whether you're hot to try it, or cool cat not, chill at my papa's spot. I'm my original Pokemon Ruby walkthrough guide. I had so much trouble reading that kid's dialogue <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, okay, here's a beauty. Let's take her on. Boy, and battles aren't worth the effort. Uh, fire battles are the are the toughen up are what tough are what toughen up trainers in Pokemon. I guess that's true, but you shouldn't call battles boring. That's disrespectful to battles. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, fine, whatever. Yes, she has a Goldeen level 13 female. Cool. Let's go for the battle through. Yes, Pack. Okay, it's gonna be super effective. Yep. Guy okay, stinks. Let's go for the tackle, I guess. Let's get his water sport. Jokes on you, don't have any fire type Pokemon yet. Actually, the next permanent team member will be a fire type Pokemon, so yeah. It's pretty cool. We feel Beauty Joanna. Cool. That's hot. Thanks. Uh, thanks for the 1,040 poker dollars. I think if you talk to this guy, he'll say that like, if you can beat these two trainers, you'll get, I'll give you half a dozen super pop. Basically, I'm the owner of the Seesaw House, uh, but you can call me Mr. C. What I love about what I what I love above all is to see hot Pokemon battles. Let me see that your heart burns hot. If you can defeat all the trainers here, I will reward your efforts. Cool. I thought those were like donuts when I was a kid, but they're actually inner tubes. Yeah, it's kind of what I thought. If you're looking for a battle war the high seas, you find no hotter trainer than me, my matey. That kind of that rhymes. Cool. Good for you. So where do I like the battle? Okay, cool. Let's send a wingle. Nice. Let's go for the tackle. You know, I kind of want to teach, uh, Rock Tomb to, uh, Fighter, like, just temporarily, because it's not one of its final movesets. Its final moves in its movesets. But yeah, I might want to do that. 
Just because it'll be, it'll be a super effective move I can use on uh, Flying to Pokemon, which Fighter is weak to, actually. Yeah, cool. Because I could give it a focus energy for and uh, place it with Rock Tomb. That's my trap's level 11. Okay, that's cool. Uh, no, it's going to use Low Kick. It's going to faint. Yeah, it's going to faint Fire Of course it is. Jeez. I know I'm sitting down all my time against a fighting type Pokemon, but I still want to see if I can just defeat it with Headbutt. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Tentacle. Okay, cool. Just head on this thing. There we go. That was a hot battle. I can accept that loss, matey. Thanks. Fifteen hundred forty-two poker dollars too. Okay, let's use. Let's teach uh, Rock Tomb to uh, to uh, fighter. Yeah. Rock Tomb, yeah, once we should maybe we deleted it and replaced with Rock Tomb, yeah, so we should be forgotten. Let's get our focus energy. One, two, and poof. There it goes, deleted action. Cool, yeah. I said, two, I said a little bit early. Uh, fire to figure out how to use focus energy and fire to win Rock Tomb. Cool. There's one more training we have to defeat, though, and it's this little tuber kid. Cool. I'm going to show you how uh, great my Pokemon are, but don't cry. Okay, don't cry when I beat you, man. <laughs> okay, so he has two Pokemon. Cool. There's zero. Okay, cool. That's good for you. Let's go for the headbutt. Flinched. Okay. Let's go for the cut attack. Like a nice. And he has a marrow. Okay, cool. Let's go for the headbutt then. Flinched awesome. Headbutt again. There we go, nice. Free a tuber side, man. Okay, I lost, but I won't cry. Okay, thanks. Thanks for 40 dollars, man. Cool. Let's talk to Mr. C and get our six dozen, six plus our pups. You know, he gives half a dozen Sir Pops. Those Battle Boys, I'm, I'm, that's more than just satisfied. I, I misread that. Cheese. As thanks for showing me your, your hot streak, I want you to take these. It's half a dozen bottles of Soda Pop. Cool. Soda Pop um, uh, restores 60 HP of one Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're in Sleepport City. It has really great music. I'm gonna let you he listen to this for a little bit. So that's like a really good music. I'm gonna go to Pokemon Center here real quick. Okay, now that's done. We can go to the Pokemon. I actually wanna sell a couple items. So yeah, that's nice. See, sell. Let's sell. It's at the bottom of the bag of this pocket, I should say. Uh, we can sell three nuggets. Oh, well. we're gonna get fifteen hundred. We can have fifty thousand poker dollars. Well, nice. And then start us. Yeah, we sell that. And then, uh, yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna use the protein though. So that's good. Oh, I also want to buy Harbor Mail, just one Harbor Mail, you know, for later. Because there's actually, we can exchange it for a uh, coin case when we get to Marvel City, which is the next city after the port. So let's buy the Harbor Mail. One of them at least. Uh, Repels, let's buy like six more, I guess. Uh, Paralysis, let's buy two more. That's alright, two more. Super potions will buy three more. Potions will buy like three more, I guess. Let's buy a couple more repels. Let's buy a couple more. Okay, cool. And then great balls. I guess we buy two more. And pokeballs, we can buy two more. 
Okay, that's good. Okay, so yeah, I see that long line of Team Magma grants. It's kind of funny. Let's get uh, proteins here too. Okay, where's the stat of attack one Pokemon? Let's we we'll use one on uh, we we'll use one on Fighter, of course, because Fighter is a physical attacking Pokemon has really good physical attack. So it makes sense to give one to Fighter, and let's also give one to uh, I guess Geico. Yeah, let's do his attack. Yeah, I'm gonna put the soft sand in the PC, but then I'll be right back. So we can organize this a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to move the ship up up anymore because I don't have to like sw switch around a lot of items. So I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and just to put a stash the soft stand on the, my PC. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just realized that in uh in uh my uh. You know, for Fighter's final moveset, one of its moves is going to be Earthquake, which is a ground type move. I guess I could give the Soft Sand to, uh, to, uh, Fighter for now, but, like, it's not going to learn Earthquake till we get the TM for Earthquake, which is not until later in the game. But just, just to have it on him, I guess, you know, whatever. Unless something better comes up, like a better held item, let's just do that, yeah. So, yeah, let's talk to Qualies. Um, why are we winding up, why are we even winding up and paying? We should just march in. One of these guys says something about uh, playing a Game Boy Advance or something. What's the new scheme, I wonder? Our boss is scary when he, he's mad, so I better not screw things up. Is it you who talks about Game Boy? No. Okay. If you need something, we, if, you, if there's something we all need in the museum, we should take it all. If there's something we need in the museum, we should take it all. Okay. Is it you that talks about your Game Boy? No, I don't care. This is the one, it's gonna be the one I'm having, it's, okay, it's gonna be the one that, uh, I haven't talked to, like this one. I see, I talked to some of these twice, jeez. So this, is it this, this one? It reminds me of times I lined up to buy Smashy games. Like Pokemon? Is that reference to Pokemon? Jeez, okay. So to make them, like, Go in the museum and like, whatever, so there's not that line and they're not blocking the way. We want to go in here, which is the shipyard. We want to talk to this guy right here. Um, if there's if there, this goes here and that goes over there, um, then where does this thing go? And what about this doohickey? Oh, I can't make my head. I can't make heads or tails on this of this. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'm hi. I'm Doc. Captain Stone commissioned me to design a ferry. Oh, that there are the are they Devon goods? But hmm, this won't do. Captain Stern went off somewhere. He said he had some work to do. Could I get you to find Captain Stern and deliver that to him? Yeah, once you talk to him, the 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 team Aqua grunts or the not the team Aqua grunts, the team magma grunts or the team aqua grunts, whether you play for being sapphire. If you playing Ruby, it's team magma grunts. They're magically gonna be in the museum, which is awesome. And if you're playing Sapphire version, it's Team Aquaguns that will be in the museum. And then if you're playing Emerald version, it'll be Team Aquaguns too. So just keep that in mind. We have to pay fifty dollars, fifty poke dollars to get in, though. I'll keep fired up front, I guess. Yeah. Welcome to the Oceanic Oceanic Museum. The entrance fee is fifty poke dollars. Which you're not too sure. Why not? We kind of have to because in the game. Talk to this guy. He'll give you the TM46 for Thief. Aye, what are you, you doing here? Me, I'm the Team Magma member. You triumphed before. You, you thumped before. Remember? Here, take this. You have to forgive me. And this is TM46 Thief, which steals a. Uh, it's a dark type move. It has a very poor base attack, um, but it you can steal a held item from a Pokemon if it's holding an item. But I'll just do damage because the Pokemon's not holding any items. Oh darn it, you so you so screwed up our plans. I, I was going to be to rip off something to make for it, but just you wait, you'll get yours one day. We'll see about that. Now I think uh, once Team Magma is all, all done in here, um I'm not gonna talk to any of them though. Uh they all like, clear out. But uh I think you're supposed to talk to him last or you meant to talk to him last. Cause like when you said when he said he screwed up all our plans, Team Magma is still here. The majority of Team Magma is still here. Here's Captain Stern, by the way. I'm gonna ma I'm gonna make a uh, the cutscene where they have to come over me and stuff. Uh, no, they, where they have to like look over me and 
we uh, walk further. I don't know. I can't even remember. But yeah, let's talk to him from the right side, I guess. Yes, if you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Um, ah, that must be the part I ordered from Mr. Stone of the Devon. Of Devon. Uh, thank you. This That's great. We can prepare our expedition now. Oh no, it's two team magma guns. What should we do? He hold it. We'll take those parts. Well, well, who are you people? We're team magma. Our boss wants those parts. Shut your yep and fork them over. Never. I had to walk around Captain Stern to face this team magma grunt. Funny, funny, funny. Cause he has a numb wall. Okay, cool. It's level 15. Cool. That's great. Let's go for the battle throw. See how much this does. Almost faints it. Cool. Let's, uh. Let's go for the tackle, I guess. Oh, there we go. Nice. Now, fighter is level 20, 19. I almost said 20. Wow. Fake out. Okay. One more of the moves. Yeah, fake out is a good move. Uh, basically, it's 40 power. The first turn. You have to use this on your first turn as your first move option that you select, but it'll uh, cause flinching, it'll cause the opponent to flinch. So, uh, let's get rid of, uh, let's get rid of tackle, I guess. One, two, and poof. Oh, uh, yeah, if I, if, we got, if, I, if I forgot tackle, but it went fake out. Yeah, cool. Oh, okay, it can't beat me. Thanks for 300 poke dollars, man. Oh man, what it does, Esther, the boss is going to be furious. Hmm, sniveled wimp. Sniveling wimp. Let me take care of this. We're battling diagonally, cool. There's Team Magma, another Team Magma grunt. Let's go for the fake out first. I did over half, awesome. Uh, prevents flinching, of course. Your inner focus ability, your stupid Zubat, prevents flinching. That's great for you. That's just great, man. Let's go for the Rock Tomb. You're astonished, okay? Rock Tomb hits, awesome. Nice, super effective, awesome. Uh, no more, okay. We'll go for the Vital Thrill. Just Ember on us. Okay, it's number level 14. Cool. The other team magma grunt had a number level 15, so that's pretty cool. Okay, cool. We defeated team magma grunt. Cool. <laughs> I lost two. <laughs> Thanks for the 280 pocket dollars. Now what? If we don't get these the parts, we're in for it. Oh, like, I didn't count on being meddled with some meddling kid. I came to see what was taking so long to snatch some parts and you simps are held up by me child. I am Team Magma's Maxi. He has a really funny high voice. What well, kind of like high voice I guess you could say. Voice in the anime. I can't do his voice though. I know Trigger Comic I can but I can't do his voice from the anime. Why uh, on earth did you feel compelled to mess, team with, mess up Team Magma's plans? People Pokemon people all live exist. Pokemon people all life exists on land. That's why Team Magma is trying to expand the world's landmass. Don't you agree? Why? What do, are you doing in a, in a magnificent? What are you doing? What we are doing are. What we are doing is a magnificent undertaking. Well, no matter you're young, you're in habit, you're an inability to understand our noble cause can't be helped. But if you were to impede us ever again, you'll see no mercy from us. Keep that firmly in mind. Farewell. Cool. You're, you're, uh, uh, okay, you're Steven. Anyway, thank you. That was a tense situation. Thank you for saving us. Oh yes, I almost forgot that you even bought the part, brought the parts from Devon. We did, the, we handed over the Devon goods. Cool. Nice. Oops, there's no time to lose. We have to set out on our Ocean 4 expedition really soon. Thanks and excuse me. Cool. And we can make our way out of the, built, the museum now, Oceanic Museum. Yeah, 
Yeah, um, let's put, uh, way up front, I guess. I'm gonna heal up real quick again. Okay, use the name Raider's house, which would be cool. Uh, and Pokemon, uh, nicknames rated. Cool. I think that's all I want to do in, uh, Sleepwood City. I don't even want to do the contest, really. Um, over here is a market, I think. I think if you talk to, like, this person. Uh, nope. Okay, it talks about secret power. He and I can, uh, I guess you can make bases and stuff. I know there's, like, if you talk to the one person, there's this little stuff to you or something. Welcome out my city. Bye. Okay, we can buy certain dolls right here. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think this is like an area where you can buy stuff for your secret base when you use secret power on like a incident in the wall or in a bush or something where you can make a secret base. We should get to that later, honestly. So if you came up here before, right around here would be um a like a fan, like a whole line of Team Magma or Team Aqua Grunts, depending on what version you're playing. And then block your way so you can't even get through. This is Cycling Road right here, but we don't have a bicycle yet, so we can't even do it yet. So you said Cycling Road. And this guy think you can find uh, an Electric, which is a new Pokemon. It makes a good watch type Pokemon. I used it in my original Pokemon Ruby walkthrough guide, but I'm not going to be using it. I don't think I'll be using Electric type at all in this run, in this playthrough, for this redo. Yeah, um, let's keep our up to the front, I guess. Um, dang, I, mean, I didn't mean to walk in the grass. Yeah, I'm gonna end the part right here. So this has been my Pokemon Ruby Redo Walk there part. The next part we'll take on the rest of this route, which we are on route, uh, what route are we on? We are on route 110. So we're gonna fin help you finish up route 110 and make it to Marvel City. And if we have time after that, we'll continue f into Marvel City and do what we need to do there. Because there's quite a few things we can do in Marvel City once we get there. So yeah, this has been Janko again. I would like to say goodbye and I'll see you guys next for my Pokemon Ruby Redo walkthrough guide.